Second lightning talk, now by now you know how it works. Seven minutes and three minutes of question. Right, so I'm going to talk about Project Calico, networking down on the internet. And you can tell here we had a little bit more time to talk about the logo than Mark did. So we have to go And uh, now we talk about the logo, we need to look for something to use that logo for. So, what's the problem we're trying to solve? Uh, really a very simple one, network connectivity. Uh, I think almost everyone in the room would agree that networks are really very dull and you don't think about the dull, you just want it to work. And as much stuff you want to work, you want to have connectivity between our containers, even if containers are kind of what's called hosts and so on, you want to have connectivity on the internet, other destinations, so container that can be accessed from the site, Talk to it and so on. We have some kind of security model as well. We have a bunch of containers that talk to one another, a bunch of containers that don't. You don't really want them spanning. So you gotta get that right. You want to have IPv4 or IPv6? Here, here. Okay. Hey, the IPv6 spans are here. IPv4 is what most people use it to pick it, set it up an hour. Um, one thing that's not a requirement, but see, anyway, quite important is we don't need L2 security. Uh, Almost all of them. GS1. We've got some IP addresses. We'll talk to them and that's it. We don't need the internet. You don't need the internet. All you need is IP. And you will not drive anybody crazy because the reality of trying to set up something that just has all these characteristics is that it's really, really hard to end up something that's really complicated, really difficult, with lots of moving parts. And the container over here on the left. Stops the container over there on the right and it goes up to six other components and it gets encapsulated and de encapsulated and encrypted and sent here, there, and everywhere. And now it doesn't work, you spend the rest of your life trying to figure out why. So, Docker doesn't provide this anymore. What it provides is a networking interface, which we've come up with, which is basically an interface that allows you to plug into something that does the hard work of the network. And that, of course, is where the Calico comes in. Look at the beautiful cat. Is that anything left? Oh, so good. Okay. Apparently, cat was amazing. So, the model we came up with is very much uh, an existing model. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. And I should maybe say that the thing you should all go away from my talk today is is that all there is to it? Um, you should be saying, that's so simple. So, the internet. The internet, by and large, is pretty simple. You've got a bunch of uh, PCs or servers or whatever, and each of those has got an IP address, an IP address, and on some applications run, and they just send that their packets out, and they go out to the routers, and the routers just make the packets go to the right place. And you don't have to think about it very much. The routers do that thinking for you. Uh, they use largely BT So that's the way the internet works. Now we're trying to solve what is turns out to be exactly the same problem but with different labels. Uh, we've got a bunch of VMs or containers, and this is one of the points of the calendar. We, used, we started off with VMs and then moved into containers, but it kind of is exactly the same as the client. And those are going to have IP addresses, and they're going to contact one another. And the way that that works is, well, exactly the same way. You have, on each host, uh, you have a bunch of containers or VMs, and you have some routing software, BGP router, and those just make all the routes work. And it all just happens. So, how's it work? So, from the point of view of a container, you come up, and the container looks around and says, oh, I've got e 0 or e 1 perhaps, and it's got an IP address. So, from the point of view of your application, it's doing exactly what it always did. It's got an IP address, and it can talk out of. Um, and routing just happens. So, the Calico components, which you're running in your host, set up all the right routing rules in the Lens kernel, and then all the BGP software just replicates those rules around in exactly the same way as that to It's a little bit complicated, but we don't have to worry about it because it's a solved problem. And the last thing I mentioned is access control. So, there's a little bit of an issue here. And imagine that I've got some tenant, and we've got, got 100 containers out there. We don't want that tenant to be able to send traffic to some random tenant in another tenant. Uh, or think of it another way, I've got an app. It's a single tenant deployment, I'm going to have an application. I don't want my application with the 20 different types of containers to be able to randomly send traffic to containers in another application. That's the more business doing. So we need to set up some access control. 
Um, the way we do that is we set up item tables in ID6 to simply ban access that we don't want. So you can, for example, have rules that say that I'm a tenant A, you're a tenant B, you can't talk, they just can't talk to one another. Similarly, you can have rules that say any incoming traffic from the internet is not allowed or is allowed only on port 443 or whatever it is. So in that way, we've got a very, very simple model. Here is exactly what we're doing. And in practice, that's pretty much it. You should all be thinking, you should all be standing there saying, is that all there is? That really is all there is. Uh, the great thing to set all this stuff up. Um, and that means that when you create a Docker container, you just provide an IP address, and this will all just work. OK. Uh, one minute, and you can I'm just spoken a little too quickly. And start talking really slowly. It's a little bit more of a project output. So it's an open source project, Apache Voices. Um, the third build is sponsored by Meshswitch, where a software company based largely in Enfield, although it works in the US and in Edinburgh, which is where I'm from. Um, but it is an open source project. Anybody can go and download it. Uh, it works in pretty much any environment you can think of. The main environment we're working with now are Docker containers and OpenStack VMs. But we've also tried various other container environments. We've also tried integrating with and it's very fast. There's an awful lot of people can down, uh, they're downloading it now. We've got a few production deployments and it's rapidly moving. And the three things that were that are kind of our, our selling points are firstly scale. We know how big you can get the internet. The internet can comfortably go up to hundreds of thousands of some uh, applications, some systems, and it just works. It's very simple, it's the same as the internet. You don't have to think about it very much, you need to get everybody gets an idea and it all works. And lastly, it's all. Anybody can just pull it down, load it, install it, and be involved there. Okay, uh, so that's it. So we have a project website. I encourage you to go and look at it all. More than that, we'll uh, Code is on GitHub. There's several repositories. The Calico Docker repository has got all the Docker infrastructure. For that, the legend of the name will be sent to the Calico repository. We've got mailing lists you can sign up to and download it. And try that. So you think.
Yeah? If your infrastructure doesn't let you set up routes to connect you on the fly, the only way to do that is to say, well, this host owns these IP addresses, and whenever we create an entity on this host, we're going to pick up one of these IP addresses. We'll still set up routes, but all we're really doing is routing them once the traffic arrives on this box. But you're not doing encapsulation, right? No, we're not. It's straight, it's straight IP. So you can never pass a router that you were not able to configure, right? Now you could do a multi-hop PGP. Yes. And, and the, other, the other, so you can either, if the router isn't willing to accept BGP, that you advertise routes. So if you advertise a router, it's not willing to accept that. The only way that you can, there, there are two ways you can do that. Either you can accept the routes and say, yes, you do own one or two or three, or because you just told me you do it and I trust you. The other alternative is to, to just say, well, these IP addresses are the ones that you own, and therefore you can only assign addresses from that range, and I'm going to blame you to the next Yes, you do have to have either cooperation of the infrastructure, of the routing infrastructure, or you have to get that to give you some addresses that you then assign yourself within your host. And that is the end of the questions. <laughs>